All right, we're going to get back on this 9410 here. Kerr and Jared have been working on this older filler trailer here. Jared's got his uh, hydraulic power unit mounted in uh, the toolbox here. He's got all his hydraulic lines run. He's working on the wiring now. Um, he's running a new wire back to the uh, tail lights here. Uh, Kerr's making a bracket up for a junction box to run these um, wires over into and then he's made some brackets on here to run. These hoses will all be taken back apart again. They're all added on to here. He's going to run them up through his brackets here and um, that will keep them all out of the way. He tore off this one tube here that had the wire running through it. It had a lot of rust and whatever there. So. He's going to get that done. He's making a um, junction box that he's going to mount on here uh, to bring the wires into for each um, oh, the fender tail here that has the lights mounted on to it. We're getting through another year with these fenders and then we're going to have to think about doing something different for getting fenders on here. Um, the salt's kind of taking its toll on this old girl so um but we were going to take and paint this trailer this winter but we didn't get to it we'll get to it maybe next winter paint this whole trailer uh, we wanted to get this hydraulic unit taken care of because of the amount of corrosion that was in the um in that cabinet there on this we didn't want it failing at all so we're taking a couple days and um, getting things fixed up here, right, James? Yeah. James got the 9410 all cleaned up on the inside of the cab. He's got the windows washed and the cab's vacuumed out. And did you happen to see that video from working on the desk there the other day? Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. I wasn't too mean to you, was I? No. No? Not at all, right? Was I serious at all during that whole episode with the washers? Huh? Was I serious? Uh, you don't know? Come on. You know I wasn't serious, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Just to clear that up, right? Got our steel lines on. All the hardware is in. We just got this one hose to hook up yet, is all. And I've got to tighten the um, return line for the turbo yet. Alright, we've got the water pump all together. Um, I've got coolant dumped in it, and of course, I spilled some too. So I've got a serpentine belt that I'm going to replace and then we're going to start this thing out. Alright, we got our fan belt on, or our alternator belt. Got that on. Water pump's all on there. Now we're just going to start this up, make sure we haven't got any leaks. just going to let this run for a second and while that's running I'm going to blow the radiators out, a lot of corn dust and stuff in there, 
get everything blown out. We'll keep an eye on that. Make sure we don't develop any leaks. Looks like it's okay. All right, we're gonna work on um, taking all these uh, hoses and fittings apart, turning this bracket around, so that we can actually access this. Um, but there's a dealer. When they installed the blade, they just didn't get this bracket on there right, and we've been just dealing with it now for quite a while, and now it's finally time to uh, flip the damn thing around as long as this tractor's in the shop here. So, to get that turned around, I gotta undo every hose, get the hoses off of there, take these bolts out, turn the bracket around, and then get this on there the right way. Alright, we've got all our hoses removed. Now I'm just going to grab a socket and a wrench and take this bracket off. Um, I've got to straighten this one spot here where the fitting is bent. Bent a little bit. i got to uh, get this flipped around and get it back on the other side. Okay, we're just going to whack this um, with a hammer on the bench, straighten that out, get the brake blade and get all this junk off of there, and then we'll put things back up again. Well, this is done here. We've got the hose bracket on the right way now. This one bottom coupler here, we had to switch out a couple years ago. We ended up breaking the flat face style um, quick coupler that is on there now we can access these a little easier rather than having to bracket kind of covering this up so we have to get the cylinder off underneath for the locking mechanism for the blade all it is is a cylinder that runs crossways and it runs a pin out to lock it up so we gotta blow some crap off this machine here yet then we'll get down underneath here ah. We got to replace or pull out this cylinder um, right here. So that's what that is. Alright, so we're going to have Jay run that cylinder. He's actually got to unlock it from this other side over here. So go ahead and start that, Jay. <laughs> Load it, Jay. Okay. okay, so that's unlocked. Um, go ahead and unlock the hose from the back, Jay. So we are going to try to get the bolt out of the end that holds these pins on the cylinder. We're thinking that might, that's a, I don't know if that extension might be too long. Want to try that first then? I might be able to get it inside that rim. Ah. 
very tight. No. No. Next thing is, is the damn thing gonna? Yep. That's coming off in there like that. No, that. That's right in there. So. stick in here just so that this damn thing can't willy wander. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I've got tires coming. I was going to put them on. Yeah, because you got eight coming, right? Yeah, I've got eight getting recapped and I got eight coming. Yeah, you need, uh, I think, eight for twelve. Oh shit, he's running. Well, 12's already got tires on it. Oh, that's right. They just did the tires on there, so he's running. He's running 12. Or 14. Yeah. That was the next truck that needed tires, wasn't it? Yeah, 14. And then 14, I was going to put the caps on. But. Um, <laughs> well, I ain't seen him in, <laughs> I ain't seen that guy in two years. Oh, and he kind of comes back around? Yeah, he comes back around now. Yeah. that guy now I just need to I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna hook these two hoses back together and just zip tie them on well I'm just gonna hook them back together okay. I'm just gonna get a doubled up JIC and I think I've got one somewhere and uh, okay. all right we have the cylinder off, and I'm going to connect these two hoses together with a bulkheaded JIC fitting. With JIC on both ends. And I need to take this here like that and just hook these two together. Amelia. I'm just going to zip tie this right where it goes in. Right through one of these stud holes that hold the cylinder in, and then that should do fine. <clears throat> there! Alright, let's look at our cylinder here. You need the flashlight? I'll just leave the flashlight underneath there. Oh, okay. You're probably going to want that. And we'll go from there. Alright, we got the hydraulic hose off in here. Now we're gonna see if we can't get this gland nut loose here. Come on. 
There we go. All right, there's the gland knot. Now we ought to be able to get this top part loose. We got the piston out of this side. This is a double barrel. So, ah, uh, I'll have to get a new packing um, for this one. There. So, actually, yeah, okay. So, that's what has happened to this one. Um, this inner packing is kind of screwed itself here. So, I'll pop that out. Um, I wish I had this apart today. I could have taken it with me. Get some new seals for it here. And then we can get this thing back together. I have the forklift out to the forklift cylinder out to new way now um, I can take this guy out with me uh, oh it, it, today's Wednesday um, they'll probably have my cylinder for that forklift done on uh, Friday here so all right we're going to get out of here Ouch. I kind of really need the wiper. How'd you make out there, buddy? Good. Dried a lot, up pretty nice. A lot drier today, huh? Yep. Good deal. I got these all apart and I'll have to get some new ones. Things out. Got a lot of paint flakage in there, Bob. Box cylinder on that fleet from probably day one. Look at that guy. She rubbed on the side a little too much. Rubbing on the side of her. So, let's tie these all together. Okay, there's that. We'll put this in here like this. And that's going to be it, right? Right. So, it's going to be it for the video. So what do you say, Nate? I don't know. 
rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, rate, you know, start, let's start over, all right? All right, it's the end of the video, folks. Nate's on his way back. He, he just got done spreading manure here, so he's going to do the sign-off tonight. Great comment, subscribe. There you go. <laughs> Get your jizz out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>